Can I can I just ask? I you laid it out beautifully, but I want to I'm understand answering. better. To, so if I may, see if I understand this right. One, there is a creator who desires to give. Mm -hmm. Yes? You can? Okay. Two, in order to give, he's got to give to something. Okay. Yes? So, what gets created is a vessel to receive the gift. Yes? The vessel is created. The creator gives to the vessel. The vessel becomes conscious. What do you mean conscious? Aware. What do you mean by conscious? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay. Aware becomes, it's got to, if the giver gives, let's say I give you something and you go, yeah. then what? Or you say, oh, wonderful. Then the giver knows the gift has been either received, it's been received or not. So the vessel's got to either say, fat or yeah. Right? Yes or no? The only problem with this is that if what you're saying is true, I don't know. The, I'm then, asking. Then he's explaining. Then the will to receive of the receiver has to be there first. If I build a desire okay. in you and then I give you, then it's not you enjoying it. Okay, okay. You have so so the giver gives to a dummy. No, as a boy, no ten, no ten, no ten le le buba. Okay. A dummy. It's just a. It's a, a golem. He gives to a golem. Golem. Yes. No. That's what I said. Golem. Right? Okay. Now the next thing. From two to three, what happens there? Instead two, he begins to feel the giver itself. It's, it's Wait, in stage two, he feels the giver itself. In stage two, the giver itself. Wait, in stage two, the golem is coming alive. Is that what's happening? What's happening? As much as the golem is to rule the game? No. What are the things that are being patted? על ידי זה שמרגיש את הנותן ורוצה להיות כמו נותן כדאי לו להיות כמו נותן The will to receive um, evolves in, in stage 2 um, oh, so I want to be like the, the giver it is beneficial for it to be like the giver זה יותר רצון מקבל But it doesn't It's actually this. a greater will to receive but, but it's a dead thing It doesn't know it's, it's getting, it's getting it's anything It's a dead thing It doesn't know it's getting anything נכון, כל הדברים האלה עדיין זה לא מתוך הידיעת הנברא, זה עדיין שלבים בהתפתחות הרצון. ובאמת הרצון שמרגיש את עצמו כעצמאי, הוא בסך הכל מתעורר כאן באדם אחרי כל ההתפתחות הזאת שאדם מתחיל כאן בעולם הזה, להרגיש שהוא רוצה לעלות. Only happens at that phase when there's a will to receive that begins to feel that it exists and wants to ascend. So there's a threshold okay. of consciousness required. As yes, it's to sufficient to the mudot to the mechuyav. Adain ain't shum mudot. Adain bitatakarach. Moshe kolayim. Here it's all subconscious. It's a potential. 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 It's a אז כל זה זה פוטנציאל, כן? שווי, אני רוצה לעבור רק משתיים לשלוש. אוקיי, מה קורה בשלוש? מה קורה בשלוש? מה קורה בשלוש? במצב שלוש, הוא מעדיף להיות כבורא. It prefers to be like the creator. What what mean it prefers? It doesn't have any will. It doesn't have any will. What kind of prefer? No, it's not. It cannot, but it wants. It's got nothing to give. It what? It can, it, it, it can what? I missed the first few words. It, it forgot again. Can, 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 we, can we say that it can have a sympathetic resonance? I don't know. But, but I'm suggesting. Well, it may be, but I want to hear what he has to say. I can suggest things too, but I want to hear what he has to say. He doesn't understand what he doesn't have. He doesn't have a reason. He can suddenly want to be like a boy. He has a reason that is called number two. It's got a desire. It's called stage two. It has a desire? Yes, called stage two. It is not its own desire. It's desire. It has the desire of the creator. 
של הבורא. Like filling its vessel. לא של הבורא שלך, מהבורא. It comes from the creator, that's what you mean. זה לא של הבורא. It has the desire of the creator. זה הרצון בקודם. That comes from the creator. אני עושה אותו, לא מן הסתם. It comes from the creator. But it has it. כן, יש לו את הרצון שבא מהבורא, אבל יש לו את הרצון הזה, כאילו. כן. So it's a desire, a vibrating desire. אז יש לו רצון שעושה שם ויברציה. כן, אבל זה לא על חשבונו. Yes, but it's, it's not it's, at its like, own expense. It's not what? At its own expense, at its own... Its own expense. But like it, what yeah, it got? Its own desire. Uh, its own volition? On its own volition, its own name. It's, it's not It's like what I'm going to give you a little bit of a cake, and I'm going to say, what do you want to take this? It's as if he brings you a piece of cake and says, Wolf, it's worth your while to take it. He says, I don't know what it is. You're saying, but I don't know what it is. You don't have a previous desire. But I don't want to give you a cake. But he's telling you, but it's worth your while, you know? It, he's, I, I, he gives you both the cake and the desire for it. I understand. I just want to get, is this stage of development for one, from Stein, Shalosh, or something, as you go down, Is this a stage of development? Are we looking at an evolution here? I am not going to take any part of the evolution. Can that? Okay. Well, that's all I want. That I need to stay. The creator wants to create a creature. Okay. I need to stay. That doesn't nivra. That doesn't no nivra. In these parts, it's still not a creature. In nivra, I understand. I mean, a nivra, me bar, me chutz. The word creature in Hebrew, nivra, comes from the word bar, which is outside. Okay. So it's not chutz, it's the bore. Exterior to the creator, inside the creator. I, I, I got it, I got it. I got it. What happens in three? I want to get now three, something happens. What happens in three? What happens in three? הרצון לקבל, אותו רצון לקבל, רואה שכדאי להיות כמו הבורא נותן. הוא מרגיש בתוך זה שמקבל תענוג, נותן את התענוג. It feels within what feel? What's the it? He gave you a piece of cake. You're looking at him through the piece of cake. And you see that he gives. And you become envious of his status. that suddenly this thing is becoming aware of itself. Is that not true? Yes, it is. Because of the collision between two things. I don't care. There is nothing in reality. What? There cannot be anything in reality besides that. And, 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 okay, but th there's a there is something coming a, a, awake at three. Is that right? Must we be aware of the Can? Yes. Good. A new desire. Okay, because now it can begin to begin to start the dialogue with the creator. Yes. Right? Yes. In fact, that's all it can know is the creator. It's what it is. It's the closest to the creator. Right. Can I ask a question? Okay. It's, it's interesting that, because I had that thought about envy. I tell you that was something. When you first went through, when you first went from two to three, it occurred to me that, that envy was a psychological term for that. And it's, uh, obviously it's, an, it's a somewhat negative. It's, it's, it's just interesting that it's present in this stage. And I wonder if you just uh, say a couple more words about it. שם בשלב הזה, כאילו. He's asking why is envy negative? It's the best thing. זה דוחף אותנו להתפתחות. Well, I often think... It prompts us to evolve. To go... Yes, I... Yes, I... I would have added that comment myself. But that's not the usual... That's not the usual way of looking at it. But... זה לא הדרך הרגילה שמסתכלים על קינאה. אני יכול להמשיך או... Dr. Wolf? Yeah. May he continue? 
Yes, I'm. I, I still. I'm still trying to get. <laughs> I, I'm very surprised. Right. Forgive me. I need to know things simply. From three to four. Michelos. Mako and Michelos Leal. Michelos Leal. After he demands the small libure, because he doesn't want to get it. After it resembles itself to the creator. But it's got nothing to give. Yes, so. הוא יכול להידמות לבורא בשני תנאים. Now it begins to think, all right, so how can I resolve? הבורא לא מקבל כלום, גם הוא לא מקבל כלום. First of all, the creator receives nothing, so I too will receive nothing. והבורא נותן. And the creator gives. ומה הוא נותן? Gives what? So what does the creature give? ואז הוא נמצא במצב שכאילו רצון יש לו, אבל לתת בה אין. So it's in a situation where it has a desire to give, but nothing to actually give. ואז הוא מתחיל לחשוב, אז איך אני נותן? So now it begins to think, so how do I give? ואז הוא מגלה בתוך, ה... בתוך הנותן, שמרגיש את הנותן, שנותן לו. And then within its sensation of the giver, it begins to find... הוא מרגיש בנתינה שלו אהבה. It begins to, to feel the love in the giving of the giver. ואם זה אהבה... זאת אומרת, יש לאנותן תלות בו, בנברא. And if this is love, then the giver is dependent on the creature. ואז הוא מבין כך, שאם הוא יקבל, זה, בזה הוא יגרום תענוג לבורא. So it realizes that by receiving, it will uh, give pleasure to the creator. אז מה ההבדל בין מה שכאן קיבל ומה שכאן קיבל? So what's the difference between the reception in two and the reception in four? ההבדל שכאן הוא חושב שמקבל רק כדי ליהנות לבורא. The difference is the intention, because here it receives only in order to delight the creator. קודם כוונה ואחר כך מה עושה. First comes the intention and then the act. In two it's receiving to delight the creator? רגע, בשתיים הוא מקבל כדי ליהנות לבורא? לא. No, no. I thought that's what you just said. No, no, no. So four. No, in four. Four. It's four. receiving to delight the Creator. Yeah. So so it recognizes the that it's receiving to delight the Creator. So that's the first act. Yes, so this is like the first act of consciousness. I want to, to uh, give the Creator and then gives. But actually it, receives. It's like the first act. It's like a, the beginning of consciousness. It's like the beginning of consciousness. הבעיה היא שכל המודעות הזאת היא גם כן באה כתוצאה ישירה מהשפעת הבורא. But the problem is that this consciousness is still a direct result of the influence of the creator. That's okay, I just want to know, is it beginning to sense its consciousness? כן, בסדר, אבל אני פשוט רוצה... I'm not saying it's Einstein yet. I just want to know, is it accepting... הוא מבין, הכל מצוין. You understand everything perfectly right. Okay. So it requires, can I ask it? It requires a threshold of light in the vessel to spontaneously generate consciousness. Actually, the entrance and the exit of light create, in the vessel, create um, the, these vibrations uh, that, that create the consciousness. As a result, the consciousness. It creates the consciousness. And, and, and does the vessel need any infrastructure within itself before that point is reached? Just the plain will to receive that the Creator had created, and then the, the influence of the light that exhales over it. And the, the Creator appears to the, to the vessel either as the pleasure or as the giver of the pleasure. ועל ידי שניהם בלבד, הוא איך שהוא מציג את עצמו, על ידי זה הוא בונה בתוך הכלי כל התופעות. And by its form of manifestation, by how it manifests itself, it builds everything within the, in, in the כלי, in the vessel. וגם כלפינו עכשיו, בעולם הזה ככה זה קורה. And that's exactly what happens here in our world. השינויים של האור עלינו, 
the changes in the light, what, we, what is called surrounding light on us, operates all kinds of uh, um, impacts, all kinds of well, things, results in us. ובעצם אנחנו קודם כל לומדים איך המבנה של כל העולמות ואנחנו בפנים. So first we learn about the structure of the worlds and our place in there. איך הבורא הכוח העליון הכללי דרך כל העולמות משפיע עלינו. How the creator impacts us through um, all these worlds. ופעם בזה שמראה את עצמו ופעם בזה שמראה את הענוגים או איסורים. Once by, by showing itself, and another time by uh, uh, showing pleasure or pain. Or and here comes the point of our free choice. How we can uh, give back to the Creator or influence the Creator back, similarly to what is happening there in the room. It means that if we uh, make of ourselves uh, resembling the situation number four with the intention to give the Creator and because of that we see from Him, then we will feel, uh, feel reality, the one that is hidden from us, including the upper force itself. And then we will live, uh, exist, and feel uh, the entire reality. So, so what the wisdom of Kabbalah enables us to do is specifically develop the intention. Discovering the light, להרגיש אותו, feeling it, אהבה שלו, its love, ואז בהתאם לזה זה מאפשר לנו לבנות יחס אליו. And that um, accordingly enables us to build our own attitude toward it. ודברים האלה הם מובאים בצורה מאוד מאוד מדעית בתלמוד עשר הספירות. These things are presented very scientifically in the, um, what we call תלמוד עשר הספירות, the study of the ten spheres. אבל עדיין כאן במצב ארבע זה עדיין לא מושלם הכלי. אבל פה בסטייג' פור זה עדיין לא מושלם הכלי. זה מה שאני אמרתי שאנחנו צריכים להידמות לזה כי אם כאן היה רצון כבר מנותק מהבורא וכוונה מנותקת מהבורא אז באמת זה היה מצב הראוי לנו. אני אמרתי שאנחנו צריכים להיות בסטייג' נאמר פור אבל אם At that point, it would have been an intention that's detached from the Creator and a desire that's detached from the Creator. Then it would have been the, the complete state. And this is what we can come to from our situation, from our To have both a desire and the intention on our name. This is because in our world we are completely detached and disconnected from the impact of the Creator. In, in the sense that He is concealed and we don't feel it. And that is what helps us develop uh, these two parameters by ourselves. Professor Lundberg. Just a little <coughs> question for clarification. Our world as we look at it is very disordered and not as we would wish it to be. And to be brutally simplistic, there are two ways of looking at that. One is that we fell from above. The other is that we rose in an evolutionary form from below. Now does this view fall into either of those categories or is it a third way as it seems to me? Uh, שוב, אני מדבר רק על מה שאנחנו 
Again, he's only explaining what we learn about in the wisdom of Kabbalah. The five degrees that we uh, just learned here, and the fifth degree, which is the vessel where the uh, with the vessel that wants to be fulfilled with both the pleasures from the Creator and the status of the Creator. And, and what else from the Creator? The status of the Creator and the pleasures. That status come from the Creator. Yes, status. To be like the Creator. His position. Uh, like a a uh, four-year-old wants to be like his dad. Uh, that that situation is called Ainsof, infinity. Ainsof or? Yeah, Ainsof, uh, no end. Ainsof, akavanai she Ainsof le gvul ratzon. And so, no end means that the desire at this point is unlimited. It's not in terms of uh, time or space or volume or anything. It, it, it describes the nature of the desire being unlimited. So this is called Ein Sof. Yes. From this from this level, the uh, the vessel uh, declines through five degrees of lessening of diminution. They're called worlds. Adam Kadmon Atzilut Bria Yitzira Asiya. But these are still degrees of diminution of the will to receive. Which builds for itself an environment. At the degree of the world Atzilut the clay, the, the, the vessel is divided into two. In, into a, a soul and its environment. But this is still not anything uh, uh, substantial. This is not our matter yet. And then both the soul and its environment, its surroundings, are going through a process called breaking. And they fall further down into this world. A few more degrees of decline. And then begins the formation of the matter of our world. Again, that's what the wisdom of Kabbalah says. And now history, as we know it, begins. Through the breaking of the will to receive, uh, there is an ongoing process of decline until eventually humans are made. And they begin to develop uh, in their desires to receive through physical uh, desires for physical pleasures and then for money, and then for power and respect, and for knowledge. Every time it develops, it feels that it still cannot satisfy its desire and that prompts it to develop further and further. And that's how humanity evolves. 
Once there is like a collective desire for knowledge, humans begin to understand that what they cannot fulfill is their heart. Heart meaning the, the collection of desires, not the heart, physical heart. And this stage is called the point in the heart. If the heart is the desire, then the point in the heart is the sensation, the point of sensation of the Creator. And then through this point, a person begins to want something that exists beyond the desire. There aren't, there aren't that many people in the world, but every year there are more and more of them. And they begin to want to realize that specific point. With, uh, but, but in the end, everyone, all mankind, must come to a point of development of that point in the heart, which eventually comes from envy. And that will bring it to the same level of the Creator Himself. Because the Creator is good, he created the creature with the primary intention of bringing it to the good. And only its own situation, the creators, can be considered good. Anything less is not good. And that's the purpose. Well, can I make a comment here? Must be a kind of a dumb creator. stupid. Because all we've got here is a lot of real problems. In our desire to be like the Creator, we start killing each other. In our desire to be like the Creator, we create Hitler. It all comes from love and desire. There's no evil there. There's no, the, Hitler wasn't evil. He just loved his own God and his own desire. And, you know, and, you know, kill these other people because they're not worthy, right? So this is, what kind of God is this? Well, this must be a dumb God. No, a Stupid God, in fact. So why should I want to want to love this God when he's so stupid? It's to create me with all this hatred and, and angst and uh, fear and want to kill the next guy and when somebody drives in front of me I give him the finger and what's going on there? You see what I'm getting at here, why do we get into this thing when, when maybe God isn't so good, maybe God is just God. You and him are very similar. <laughs> But he's even madder than you are. He's worse than you. But, but there is an alternate way to look at this. But today he's just presenting Kabbalah. So he's giving you the answers that are written there. It's ingenious, and I'm I'm very interested. The Adam Kabbalah comes in at that higher level. I don't know, a, the AK comes before AB. I don't know what the other levels are, but I always wondered about the Adam Kabbalah. Yeah, I mm. knew a little bit. Oh, the Adam Kabbalah kid. But still, the question, the mystery, still is why is God so stupid? But the answer to all these questions that you're asking are presented in the introduction to the book of Zohar. 
Actually, the uh, introduction to the Book of Zohar begins with your questions. So, first of all, he respects you for asking the same questions as the author of the Zohar. And within the introduction, uh, there are answers. You can also find it uh, on our site in English, but still he'll try to explain it. Oh yes, actually we have, we have books here, um, and, and it's in there too. We'll give them to you afterwards. In order to bring creation to the level of the Creator, the creature must come to feel the full uh, scope or scale of its desire. Opposite the opposite the creator, vis-a-vis -vis the creator. As, as a will to receive. Because the will to receive and, and the will to give, the light, the darkness, the creator, the creature. Those two build the creature itself. This contrast builds the creature. As you say, we have to get to the anti -bure. So it follows that we have to come to an anti-creator state. Which is actually terrible affliction and terrible torments. Is such a state even possible? It, it's a horrible state. When we haven't even begun. That's how high the Creator is. In other words, we'll, we still have a long way down. This is implied uh, often in, in, the, in the Pentateuch and the, by the Prophets too. You cannot decline to these terrible states physically. And this is why the wisdom of Kabbalah is surfacing. So that we go so that we go through these opposite the, the creator's states in our consciousness, but not physically. It's comparable to a, a sick person who can either get sick and, and experience the whole sickness or look at an x-ray and believe his doctor and, and prevent the, the sickness from developing. It, and by that, you don't steal uh, the, the vessel from yourself. You simply add the, the, the conscious perception instead of the physical one. So instead of paying with your body, you pay with your pocket or with your perception. So we have tools to, to um, accelerate the, uh, the recognition of the evil, the, the, the evolution of the ego. Instead of the current decline of humanity. That it and this is done by, by discovering reality and discovering the purpose of reality. Concerning uh, the affliction and the torments in the world, including Hitler, and you can only say this. These people are messengers of the Creator. There is no other power that operates in the world, only the upper force. 
everything stems from him. אז ודאי ש... אם אדם מרגיש שהחיים שלו זה רעים, אז הוא אומר שהבורא זה רע. So if you feel that your life is bad, then you're saying that the creator is bad. וכך כתוב גם כן שלב שרים ומלאכים ביד השם. That's why it's written that the heart of uh, uh, kings and ministers is in the hand of God. אלה, הבעיה היא, ולמה זה קודם כל, אם הוא שואל, כנראה שהוא שואל קודם כל על היהודים. And if you're asking, then you must be asking first and foremost about the Jews. אז אנחנו אשמים בזה שכל העולם לא מגיע לתיקון, כי אצלנו החוכמת הקבלה. Then it is our fault that the world is not uh, reaching the correction because we have the wisdom of Kabbalah. It is our fault that there is anti-Semitism. That's what the wisdom of Kabbalah says. Because we are not disclosing to ourselves and to the world the method for correction and for discovering the creator. To become a light to the nations. ולכן כולם שונאים אותנו. That's why everybody hates us. וכולם מרגישים שאצלנו יש איזה משהו ביד ואנחנו לא נותנים לכולם. And everybody feels that we have something in our hand that we're not giving. ובכל יהודי ויהודי יש בלב גם כן הרגשה שהוא אשם על משהו. לא על מה, אבל על משהו. Every Jew has a sensation, the guilt trip. He feels guilty for something even though they don't know for what. וזה רק בגלל ששיטת הקבלה נמצאת אצלנו. And it's only because uh, we have the wisdom of Kabbalah. That's what the Zohar says. So the more we uh, disclose this means to the world, the more we will promote the world to the better. Now we have uh, the opportunity to do it. That's how I received it from my teacher, and that's what I pass on. You had questions? I don't, I don't have difficulty with this qualitative picture. But, but I remember when I first was at a graduate level uh, in university. And I found that for a large set of experimental data, I could come up with at least 10 really good models to circumscribe and rationalize every bit of that data. And then I learned that if one looks at that data from a quantitative model, as distinct from a qualitative model, then it was possible to discriminate among this ten or dozen qualitative pictures. And therefore, it seems that in our search for knowing, we, we go through an art stage, a stage where we have recipes of how to behave and do things. And then, and then we have a qualitative science. Uh, upon which we can build some aspects of technology. And then we develop a quantitative way of expressing uh, the model in a richer sense so that we can more precisely investigate it ואז אנחנו מפתחים דרך כמותית להסביר את זה כדי שנוכל לחקור את זה בצורה יותר מדויקת. And, and then we can develop a technology or series of them based upon that science. ואז אפשר לפתח טכנולוגיה או ניסויים שמתבססים על המדע הזה. And that's what we've done over the last five, six hundred years. זה 
מה שעשינו ב-500-600 שנה האחרונות. ובשלב הזה, התחתון, כאילו, אנחנו למדנו איך לעשות את המדע הכי פשוט. In that level, there is very little consciousness in the objects we deal with. And there is very little consciousness in the humans dealing with them. So we don't have much of an experimenter effect. That is, the experimenter interacting with the objects of the experiment. But now, the experiments that have been done in the last century or so, and they've been were done for a long time, which we can call psychoenergetics experiments, this is where consciousness becomes directly involved, And Kabbalah is, and all aspects of life are intimately involved with psychoenergetics. And so now we're at the place where we, there is enough experimental data that we can break through the, the prevailing mindset אז עכשיו אנחנו במצב שיש כבר מספיק ידע שאנחנו יכולים לפרוץ דרך המבנה המחשבה השולט, הנוכחי. That, that humans cannot significantly influence target experiments in physical reality. שאומר שאנשים לא יכולים להשפיע על המציאות הפיזית. And so the beginnings of a quantitative approach or dealing with consciousness, psychoenergetics, humans, and Kabbalah. And we can now begin to do over the coming centuries with psychoenergetic phenomena, basically what science has learned to do with the simpler phenomena. And one then is able to discriminate between a qualitative expression of the larger reality בין ביטוי איכותי של המציאות. And, and to predict then a quantitative science as we go back home, ו- so to speak. וליצור כאילו מדע כמותי בדרך שלנו כלפי מעלה, כאילו הביתה. And step by step, we צעד, צעד. uncover, we develop the tools <laughs> to <laughs> investigate <laughs> the next level of reality, <laughs> and, and then the המציאות. next level of reality. <laughs> That's exactly what Kabbalah enables one to do. Kabbalah as it stands does not enable one to do that. Kabbalah as it stands qualitatively suggests how you can do that. Kabbalah במצבה הנוכחי לא מאפשרת לעשות זה, היא מסבירה איך אתה אולי היית יכול לעשות את זה. But, but the development... Perhaps he mis, uh, uh, didn't explain it. Uh, okay, no, 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 you've explained it beautifully. But until, until the science is mathematically quantitative, it is insufficient. Let me give, me, let me give you an example. The... Here we talk quantum physics and theology meet Kabbalah. Now, let, let's look at quantum physics as the present mathematical formalism gives it. It, it, can, it can only deal with space-time. It's framed within a reference frame of space-time. All psychoenergetic experiments are beyond space-time. So until quantum mechanics is expanded 
to, to include the dimensions beyond space-time in a mathematically quantitative way, we cannot make appropriate progress. That's what I mean. You're right. You're right. That's why it says meeting. Yes, yes, okay. But, but so I'm, I'm, really, I'm really saying that, that this, in order to do what you want to do, and I think we all want to do, we must expand the present way of doing science to include consciousness. And that is a big step. Absolutely excellent. אני רואה שאני לא צריך להסביר יותר ממה שקצת לספר על קבלה והם אחרת והם בעצמם קושרים את העם לכך טוב. אני רואה שאני לא רוצה להגיד יותר מהם על קבלה ואתם עושים את כל הדברים הנכונים. אבל בכל זאת הייתי רוצה להדגיש שחוכמה הזאת עצמה היא מאוד מאוד ניסיונית, אקספרימנטלית. that this uh, wisdom itself is very experimental. Because the first... Which is what leads first in any field to a qualitative model. The first scientist, scientist was Abraham. שהוא, כמו שמספר לנו המדרש, who, as the, the books tell us, פשוט התחיל לשאול על היקום, מאיפה ומה הבא, simply started asking about the universe, איך, איך, from, איזה כוחות פועלים במציאות, and the forces that operate reality, הוא היה אחד מהרבה אנשים שהיו חיים ב... He was one of many people living in Mesopotamia at the time. It was still not divided into nations. So why is he called Abraham, which in Hebrew is Av Ha'am, the father of the nation? גילה את השיטה הזאת להכיר את המציאות מעלינו. ומתוך ניסיון שלו זה מה שהוא כתב בספר יצירה. כך כתוב במדרש שלו. והמציאות הגבוהה יותר באה מלהסתכל פנימה. כן, בוודאי. מתוך זה, כי אנחנו, הכל, בעצם כל המחקרה היא בסופו של דבר מתוכנו. זה עוד אנחנו נגיד. אבל אחר כך אברהם התחיל לאסוף סביבו את התלמידים. וללמד אותם חוכמת הקבלה. And teach them the wisdom of Kabbalah. Okay. And over time, this group became a people. Okay. And only many, many years later, after the ruin of the first temple, the these disciples lost the sensation of the higher reality. ונפלו מדרגה הכרת הרוחנית לגשמית, כאילו, שהמשיכו להרגיש רק את העולם הזה. אבל זה גם נכון בהתחלה של כל, כשזה מגיע למינימום של הריאליטי. אז מה שאני רוצה להגיד שלכן העם הזה שנקרא היום יהודי וקבלה מה שנמצאת בו אבל הוא בעצמו לא יודע על זה מיועדים זה לא עם בכלל, יהודים זה לא עם לפי ה-DNA שלנו, לפי ה-DNA שלנו, אנחנו כמו הפרסים העתיקים. If you check the Jewish DNA, you'll find that it's like the ancient Persians. כי אנחנו ממש אותו עם. That's the nation of Israel. רק יצאנו משם בגלל הקבלה. The only reason 
uh, that we Kibuza, came out of it was because of the Kabbalah, because it was a specific group dealing with Kabbalah. So it is our duty, our obligation to to uh, pass it on. <coughs> the special thing about Kabbalah is that it is completely beyond any religion. It compels it, no physical actions of any person. Mm -hmm. Just like it is here, all we talk about is the desire and the intention mm -hmm. toward the Creator. And we're at a time where we are moving to become one world rather than a bunch of nations. Yes. So the average consciousness has reached a level where it can grasp a new concept. I missed something. Did you say the disciples, the tradition of disciples after Abraham, lost the meaning at the time of the destruction of the second temple, wasn't it? Okay. Yes. It was a gradual process. In, in first they, they were at level two. In the ruin of the first temple they fell one level, and after the ruin of the second temple they fell into zero level of perception. Rabbi Akiva uh, was the last uh, great Kabbalist, and he taught love thy neighbor as thyself. Um, but his disciples fell from that level to unfounded hatred. And all that was that that was left Kabbalah. afterwards in the nation was religion instead of Kabbalah. When you said that. Uh, the Jewish DNA is of Persian, or Persian origin. Does that mean that Abraham was a Babylonian then? As as ima ima talmosh adin eshel yehudim zemi paras as zomosh Avraham ayah betzem gavli. Okay, so he was 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 it was one man living Avram. And his, his father, Terach, was an idol worker. He was his father's name? Terach. Terach, yes. So he was just one of thousands of people living there at the time. So what I wanted to say is that even the Chumat Kabbalah, the glory that Abraham received, is what he did to him from all of them. So what distinguished Abraham from all the other people was that specific discovery of the wisdom of Kabbalah. Now, with respect to the perception of reality, with respect to the perception of reality, Kabbalah says this. שאנחנו תופסים את המציאות דרך חמישה חושים שלנו. Kabbalah states that we perceive reality through our five senses. ריאש בחרר, דם, משוש. Sight, sound, smell, taste and touch. ולא שאנחנו תופסים מציאות מה שיש בחוץ. But it's not that we perceive the reality that exists out there. אלא אנחנו מרגישים תגובות שלנו על משהו שיש בחוץ. We only feel our own reaction to what is out there. Sorry for explaining it so primitively, but I can't use terms of uh, quantum physics or uh, It's for you to bring it up to the level that... Let's say that there's a, a, a wave sound, a, a sound wave. How do I know about it? I know only because of the reaction of my eardrum to what comes from the outside. So I only measure my own reaction. I don't feel the wave itself. 
אני שומע יותר, שומע פחות, איך שהגוף שלי מתוקן, איך שהוא תופס... So my reactions are actually dependent on my own uh, physical state. איפה שהוא תופס, הטווח הזה... On the frequency. סך הכל ממה שמתרחש מבחוץ, אני לא יודע בכלל כלום. Of what actually happens out there, I have no knowledge. וכך זה כלפי כל ה... And that's how it is in every tool of perception that I have. So I actually only see myself from within. In every sense. And nothing on the outside. It's because I can't exit my own box. And I simply measure my impressions of, of something that seemingly changes out there. ואז השאלה, האם משתנה משהו בכלל מבחוץ? But, so then we're left with the question, does really anything change? והאם יש משהו מבחוץ? And is there anything out there? איך אני אדע? How do I know? אין לי איזשהו חוש שאני יכול להוציא מעצמי. I don't have any, anything, uh, any sense that I can uh, uh, elicit out of myself. Well, there is, there is some um, interesting work that was... published not long ago by a Dane by the name of Tor Noritranders who, who wrote a book called The User's Illusion. But what was it called? The User's Illusion. And in, and in that he made a very interesting point of my, my daughter and I struggle with. But, but uh, and that is that the capacity of the subconscious Uh, which, which takes this stream of the five physical senses, which appears to be 50 million bits of information per second. And the subconscious operates on it mathematically, uh, edits it, creates little kernels of information and sends them to the conscious, which, which seems... to have the information handling capacity of less than 50 bits per second, and maybe less than 12. <coughs> yeah, 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 and, the, and the important thing about it, it seems to me, is that it sends to the conscious brain only those kernels that the conscious brain has previously decided are meaningful to it. And it throws all the rest away. I think it's very interesting work. That's overstated. Probably. I respect your work very much, but it's totally immaterial to what his to what this message is about. There's no bearing on anything. The use of mathematical models is interesting, and we should do that work. But there's something else that's missing that he's talking about that I feel directly, and I think we need to. I think it needs to be brought out. Please do. I take it very personally, and I understand in a deep way this this thing that we Jews have. And I don't know if non-Jews can have it or not. Maybe this is a prejudice on my point. I don't know. But the guilt. I feel it. I, I, I know you feel it. I, I, I can sense it in, in Jeffrey. I can sense it in, in Jewish people. I sense it in, in some non-Jewish people, too. It, it's not that it's only the Jews that have it. It's this thing about knowing something that you know you know in a way, but through your own selfish desires have not given that light that you have. And to some extent we all, all human beings are like that. So maybe it's special with us because of Avram who first discovered Kabbalah, I don't know. But I, but I feel this, this is something I feel, I can't help feeling it. Maybe, maybe I'm psychologically demented, I don't know. I don't know what psychological things can be true. What? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe both are true, but <laughs> I, 
I acknowledge it. I, I have no shame with that. I mean, it's, it's okay with me that I, but I do feel it. And so, uh, when I hear you, I, I can almost cry because I can feel, I can feel this, this pain and the sense that we brought this on, this world we're in right now. Okay. Yeah, and I, I don't, that's one of the reasons why I wanted it. It says actually even more than that. It says that all the events, everything that happens in the world happens only because of the children of Israel. Now that's not written in the Kabbalah, it's written in the Torah. I may feel that's true because I'm a Jew, but that's a very, that, that's a statement that would not wash very well with non-Jews in the world. It sounds terribly arrogant. Of course, I agree with you. Dear friends, yes. It stems from the structure of the world. We have to see how things are built. Pleasant or unpleasant makes no difference. But you see, we have cousins. We have cousins. The, uh, the cousins of Islam, who also yeah, feel what we feel. Islam. And look what they're doing with that feeling. I, that's what worries me. Personally. So you see, they, why... If we don't unite with our, our brothers and our cousins from Islam, because this is, this is the problem we're having. This is a, one of the big divisions in the world is because of the Jewish Islamic. Yeah. And then the Christians get in with, their, with following the, insane, the insanities of, a, of, of some guy they nailed to a cross. It's total nonsense. And a Jew on the cross and suddenly he's very important. And they believe that garbage, and to me it's garbage. But nevertheless, they believe it very strongly. I'm not talking about the cat. I'm not talking about the whole thing. I'm talking about the way you think about the spiritual Everything that happens in reality has its place. But these are the feelings. I'm, I'm, these are the feelings that are churning. This is the energy of the planet right now. Everybody's feeling this righteousness, this kind of, you know, this is the energy that's going on. So this is what concerns me as, as, as a child of God. I'm concerned about this. Not, not my Judaism, not my Christianity, not my Islam. I'm concerned about this issue. How is Kabbalah? Do you want to know why it happens? What? Well, we can't make can't make everybody Kabbalists. I mean, no, 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 וכאן אנחנו מדברים חוץ מזה על הכוונות, על, ה, על, And, על, על, על מי שמסוגל besides, להיות קשור ל, למסר. Here we're talking about intentions, yes. about those who can be uh, in touch with the message. ולכן לא הולכים ללמוד כל החמישה מיליארדים. So it's not like eight billion people are going to start studying. אלא אם now. דרך המדע אנחנו נראה לכולם. But if through science we can show everyone uh, the correct picture of reality. It'll simply compel people to be different. I see it on the million people that are already in our uh, study groups. There's no persuasion. Persuasion. It, it's simply by, done by observation. And we have students who are Arabs, uh, Muslims. Uh, uh, the editor of, uh, actually, the two of the books, I think, yeah, two of the books that we're going to give you today is a Muslim. We, well, we have 
students from everywhere. We have a site in 22, 23 languages. People come to our congresses from 40 something countries. It's something that concerns and touches everyone. But if we do not draw that upper light we will not be able to rescue it. How do you touch the Islamic heart this with this Kabbalah? I, I'm curious to know how you're doing it. Through the internet. Through the internet they just contact us. Abraham is their father too. Abraham is their father too. The fact that we have the same father doesn't stop them from killing us. I understand that, but they say. I didn't mean it. The idea is simple. The soul of human is called Adam. The thing is this. The collective soul of humans is called Adam. This is the vessel that the Creator created in its will to receive. And it is filled with the upper light. Pleasure, you name it. Within this body called Adam, there are all the parts interconnected harmoniously like just like in a body. The sum total of all the elements. And this soul goes through a process of shining. Falls to a degree that is called below the machsom barrier. At the barrier, this is the end of the uh, spiritual sensation, perception. And the same parts exist there below the barrier, except now they have a sensation of being disconnected from each other. It's just like being in the same place because there is no place in spirituality. But the sensation is of one living within oneself. So everyone feels uh, only themselves. And that sensation of feeling only myself is called being in this world. That's our current state. The upper force uh, has its impact on us, on all of us, who are disconnected from each other, in order to bring us to the purpose of creation, to the corrected state. It broke us and brought us to this uh, place in order for us to 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 uh, to be able to tell the difference to know that to realize the difference between us and the creator and as we've said the difference can be felt in a horrendous in a horrible way through thousands of years of torment until from the lowest point we will begin to want to ascend to the correct place where we are all interconnected where we're all interconnected but why do we have to be interconnected what's a social life it, yes. It's remarkably like a <coughs> symmetry breaking in physics mm -hmm. from the SU2 gauge state to the U1 gauge state. You lost me there. No, all right, well, I'll, I'll, I'll get, get to it. It is that 
in our work because we're going the other way and we see how to bring the connectivity back. We see that there are two domains of physical reality. The atom molecule level and the what I call the coarsest level of the physical vacuum. And, and the frame of reference that one that we use to describe these interactions are two four-dimensional reciprocal subspaces. With a, a coupler agents agent from a higher dimension and, and, in, and in general the basic physics of this these two uh, four spaces is if, if one is reciprocal to the other says that the quality in one is has a conjugate quality in the other which is given by an integral over that entire subspace. But if, but if the coupling is very weak, then instruments in this domain cannot sense this domain, and so things appear to be separate. And as one is able to increase this coupling, then the connectivity, which is there in the basic physics, increases from, increases from almost zero to, to very high values. So we feel the connection with each other. And, and it's interesting that that's going back, our experimental research is going back across this line uh, uh, and, and it's being done by embedding consciousness in simple devices that, that cause this change. And so it goes back to aspects of consciousness being very much involved and, and the physics of that allows, and ultimately I suspect quantitatively, this pattern to exist and to be sharply defined. I just wanted to add that. There is a good reason that humanity has to go through all the phases of evolution uh, <clears throat> through desires for uh, for physical pleasure and then money, honor, knowledge, and only after the desire for knowledge comes the desire for spirituality.